Good morning, folks. We are here at the Waiting in Flint, Michigan. And try to get a view here. I'm in the upper parking lot here. We've got some of our trailers parked and a uh, bus behind me there, as you can see. Um, this, uh, this parking lot is decent size. Not a problem here in this parking lot. I got the camera turned around here for you. But what we're looking at, there we go. Okay, showing the trailers and the trucks here and the bus. We have a unique situation at this venue where we back down into a square little parking area that is a pain in the tush. Oh, I can't express enough how much of a pain in the tush it is. It's right straight ahead of me there. We back down in and we got a, a, a day cab, uh, um, a twin axle uh, day cab that's putting the trailers in for us there. You can start to see the trailer down in there now. And let me go down in here and show you. There's not a lot of maneuvering room down in here. You gotta take that day cab and uh, as you're instructing him to come down in here, you gotta have him go toward this driver's side to get his ass end of his truck toward the dock. And you have to have him, when he is down in here, slide his tandems to the rear. And also on top of that, you gotta have him jockey forward and backward, forward and backward to uh, get to where his truck is like, you can see it there now. It is um, pushing the trailer back rather than 90 degree angle to it. And as you can tell, down in this hole here, I'll go around with a one wheel and the camera, there's not a lot of room in here. Now they got a couple of cars up in the corner here. These cars aren't really in the way, but you can see the ramp we come down and we're surrounded by concrete here. So the margin of error for maneuvering in here is uh, kind of tight. Uh, you can see how tight the front of the truck is here now. And there are two docks here, but you have to have the nose of this trailer over or you're not gonna get the second tr truck in at the second dock. So this is where uh, it becomes a little bit of a pain in the tush to do this, uh, this particular venue. So just to... Uh, Just to show you, it is not easy. Um, you might be able to do it with a uh, sleeper, but boy, it would be a nightmare to try to maneuver it. Uh, it's much easier. We have this uh, m, m motor service come in, and they put it in here for us, uh, which is, is grand. The show pays for it, so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, Clark Transfer doesn't have to worry about it. And this is the ramp here. Yeah, like I say, we got to do the sliding of the tandems on the trailer, as well as jockeying forward and backward with the with the tractor once it's in there for maneuvering. It is just tight down in here. Uh, there's just no two ways about it. So, hopefully, you enjoy this video. I'm going to try to get uh, low altitude authorization notification capability with the FAA to try to fly my drone here a little later. Um, right now we're, we're more busy with uh, loading the uh, trucks in and out. But uh, yeah, that is uh, what we're dealing with here. It is a, uh, just a shade of a nightmare here. <laughs> I know, but wanted to show this to you. So you can see that ramp we go down right there. And yeah, we're out here with our, our bus. Our bus and our trailers. Our, we're gonna park two trailers over on the right here in front of the bus. We've got one trailer parked over here right now. But yes, this is what we're looking at here. 
it's um, it's going to prove to be a challenge, and it has been so far this morning. Um, the the lead driver even let me back in a couple here uh, because it was enough of a challenge. Um, you know, uh, not that I'm all that much better at it, but uh, I'm able to communicate to the driver a little bit better how to jockey in and so forth. So, yeah, uh, if you ever get to go to the whiting, you better be prepared. This is uh, this is just a, a little bit of a a little bit of a challenge for you. If you're good, you got it. If you aren't, you're going to be struggling, struggling with us, you know? Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video, and with that, I'm going to see if I can't get some drone footage a little later. Obviously, right now, we're working right now. i got to uh, keep my mind on getting my job done. Once the job's done, or we got the last trailer in, then I can goof off a little more. I'll have a little more leeway. All right, guys, as usual, be safe out there. No matter what your truck driving job is, be safe. Watch out for the other guy. And do everything you can do to be safe as well. All right, hey, thanks for watching the video. If you like my video, subscribe, click like, share with your friends, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think.